G'day there, Investor Alex. Welcome along to the Comsec uh, Pocket App Review. Uh, we're looking at the 24-month performance update in this one. Um, this was just the performance of the three best um, ETF investment portfolio, or the three that I thought were the best anyway. So if you're interested in that kind of shenanigans, hang around. Um, yeah, I think it's interesting. So you get a bit of a look at the two-year performance. Uh, taking into account um, the COVID dip or crash or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, definitely uh, interesting uh, information for you guys. So hang around. Um, this will be a quick one. Hey there, Investor Alex. This is Scott. Crack the Sky Bay Investing will be giving you up-to-date investing news and content so that you can navigate the markets wherever you are. My mission here at Crack the Sky is to give you the knowledge and the confidence to take control of your personal finances, expand your investment horizons and crack your financial sky. So don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. It helps get the message out there. It helps pump the uh, algorithm for YouTube. Um, yeah, just in general, it sort of uh, gives me a bit more motivation as well to keep doing these little um, reviews for you guys. Thanks. Okay, for those who don't know, just a quick recap of how um, the Comsec Pocket App works. So you got minimum investment amount uh, of fifty dollars per trade, so you can do your micro trades. Um, and sort of start building up your investing from scratch from a small base. So this is a um, well, one of the an interesting product to use anyway. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the seven um, options you have to invest in in the po Comsec Pocket app. So you've got the BearShares Global Sustainability Leaders ETF, the iShares MSCI Emerging Markets ETF iShares Core S&P ASX 200 ETF, iShares Global 100 ETF, iShares Global Healthcare ETF, uh, the Spider MSCI Australia Select Harvest um, High Yield Fund, Select High Dividend Yield Fund, if I can get that right, and you've also got the NASDAQ um, 100 ETF, and that's from Beta Shares. Do a quick run through um, performance. There's also been a couple of changes on the ratings that you might notice from um, looking at the first, second um, video that I did for this little project. So IOZ um, rated bronze by Morningstar. Um, FY 2021 performance was uh, roughly 27%. IOO um, got a bronze rating um, when I reviewed it. Um, performance over the last financial year was 25% or thereabouts. Uh, IEM um, still holds a bronze rating. Uh, it had 27%, just over 27% performance last financial year. SYI uh, neutral, you had 20% performance there, or it's almost 21%. Uh, NDQ is not covered, but you had a pretty good bump up there. You had 30.73%. ETHI uh, not covered either by Morningstar. You had 30% there. IXJ uh, that was not covered, uh, but you didn't have you know a very exciting return there this year when you compared to the others. You had 11.99%. So yeah. You know, obviously the NASDAQ had a pretty good run and also um, the ethical side of things um, start to look pretty good as well. So they're um, two to keep an eye on for the future. Okie dokie, so just a quick um, look at the dividends and fees. So IOZ um, paid out 3.34% or thereabouts. Um, still um, re re relatively cheap, or pretty pretty well dirt cheap, I should say, 0.09% uh, um, per annum. So you know you that type of money, you won't even realise it's disappeared. Um, ETHI 
Uh, you're getting a dividend there of 5.5% uh, when I checked it. Uh, you know, relatively high um, management fee at 0.59%. Um, IEM, uh, pretty low dividend, 1.55% uh, there, and also relatively high fees at 0.68%. So if I had to do this one again, I'd probably ditch IEM, but having said that, it's, um, you know, your emerging markets tend to be counter cyclical. So, you know, when the developed markets are up, this IEM, so the emerging markets is down and vice versa. So with anything, especially your long-term focus, you know, you can have swings and roundabouts and, and, you know, maybe in the next two or three years as the economy changes, global economy changes, I should say, that you might actually have see that that actually performs quite well, uh, opposed to the other um, two ETFs in this portfolio. Uh, so performance, um, IZ, so between October last year and October this year, 29, 0.19%. Uh, ETHI had a pretty good year, 31.28%. Uh, um, and IEM, pretty disappointing, 7.75%. Um, so what I'm looking at here is different to the financial year, which is a financial year as I had um, showed you guys before. So don't get confused about what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at um, pretty much the year when I created this portfolio and did my first first video, which is October to October. So just keep that in mind. I mean, looking at these numbers, they do vary a little bit from um, the previous slide when I show performance. That's financial year performance, and that just gives you an idea of the whole um, list of investments with, inside um, the Comsec app. Okay, so just have a quick look at the uh, graph. So not doing too bad. Um, so initial investment um, up at the end of October 2019 was $1,200. And that's grown to $1,431. And that's a 19.3% increase in value over the two years, which is, which is pretty good. Um, that's sort of about the you know market average, but hopefully um, over time we can actually um, beat out the market a bit. Um, as I sort of mentioned before, you got that um, emerging markets pulled us back a bit, but hopefully, as I was saying, um, counter cyclical um, that might be able to help us out a bit there on um, uh, when the emerging sorry when the um, more developed markets are sort of potentially going down. You know, hopefully the EM can can sort of push us up or keep us up level pegging anyway. So just that sort of bit of a counter cyclical type of flavor in the portfolio for, to balance us out over long term. Anyway, guys, I hopefully, hopefully that was um, informative. As I said, this is just a quick video. So, you know, I think it sort of shows the value of, you can actually invest small amounts over long amounts of time and actually create yourself um, some some large investments over time. So just keep in, keep in mind that um, if you're if you're um, investing and you're you're getting nine percent on your investments, your money's going to double every eight sort of eight and a half years. So just keep that in mind. So this portfolio we're sort of tracking about you know sort of just a little bit over nine percent. So every eight years this should double for us. Um, so yes, yeah, keep that in mind and obviously. You know, you guys with this app will actually be um, contributing more um, on a monthly um, basis or on a on a, a weekly basis or however you're set up inside the app. So just keep in mind that this is just pure first investment, no additional investments, just to show you how really what happens over time with compounding effectively. So um, yeah, I think keeping up with the market and then slight, slightly beating the market, you know, keeping in mind the fees and all that type of stuff. I think it's a good little way just to demonstrate how things work on a simple level with, with not much money. I mean, 
I think that's that's the big block these days. People think you've got to have millions of bucks, but you don't really. It's it's the discipline of um, investing that's really is really where the power lies. So if you can be disciplined, small amounts over long long term is actually where the power lies in investing. Hey, thanks guys. Stick around for my next video. Uh, should be coming out shortly. Thanks. Are you interested in learning more about personal finance and investing in the markets? If you are, then smash the like here on the left hand side and caress the subscribe button on the right hand side. It's Crack the Sky in Value Investing. We'll be giving you up to date investing news and content so you can navigate the markets wherever you are. Expand your investment horizon and crack your financial sky. Thanks, guys. See you later.